huh? What are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overborn. I'm going to be doing my review for the 1966 movie, Batman the Movie. This is a movie based on the TV show from the 60s, Batman, uh, starring Adam West and uh, Burt Ward. And in this movie, uh, it follows Batman and Robin who are uh, trying to... Uh, stop all of these villains who are uh, wreaking havoc on Gotham City and planning on uh, using this uh, machine gun thing that, that controls people and uh, and dehydrates them uh, and takes all the water out of their bodies. It's, it's really, really weird. Uh, I don't really know how to explain this movie very well because it's just just a really weird movie um, but if you're a fan of the Batman show from the 60s you'll probably love the movie it came out like right after the first season ended um, it, it was uh, and everything and it features pretty much all of the main cast from the the show Adam West as Batman and Burt Ward as uh, as uh, Robin and then you got of course the villains uh, Cesar Romero as Joker Burgess Meredith as the Penguin Frank Gorshin as the Riddler and uh, Lee Merriweather plays Catwoman instead of uh, instead of Julie Newmar who played her on the show uh, and uh, this is a, a fun movie there, there are a lot of fun moments in here um, but it a little bit goes a long way like like I've always liked the the show and stuff I have it on DVD but I've never binge watched it because I can only handle watching so much for this Batman at, at a time because it is so campy and cheesy and stuff and it's fun but it's just not something I like to just sit down and binge watch I don't ever think like okay uh, I'm in the mood for Batman let me binge watch Adam West's show um, it, it's good for like a, a, a once a week thing maybe but not not every day and stuff and this movie is like five episodes compiled into one it was really hard for me to get through it um without wanting to stop it every little bit and everything because of that um but it is still a pretty fun movie it has a pretty decent story and it has a really awesome showdown at the end of the movie on top of the submarine where all of the villains and batman and robin are fighting it was that was a pretty cool little moment at the end of it and everything and you have all those little sound effect things that pop up like it goes pow and pop and stuff like that every time someone hits the other and stuff I, I thought that was kind of kind of fun and it, it, it is very lighthearted. it's completely different than any other Batman movie that I've seen to be honest it just but it's still a lot of fun and, and pretty enjoyable it's not the the best Batman movie out there. It's definitely not the worst either. Uh, I think there are other ones that I've disliked more than this. Um, but I, I thought it was okay. Um, the costumes and stuff were really, really cheesy, but they, most of them look pretty good, especially on the villains and stuff. I think the villains all look really cool. And I think out of all of them, my favorite is probably uh, the Riddler. I think Bridges Meredith was just, I mean, uh, Frank Gorshin, I'm sorry is just really great as the Riddler and, and Burgess Meredith as the Penguin is really good too I love that little Penguin laugh thing he does he, he's he's pretty good and Cesar Romero as a Joker is great too I think he, he's pretty pretty good but I actually think that the the Riddler's uh, maniac laugh is is even better than the Joker's because he's just like really over the top when he does his evil laugh it's fun to watch makes him fun to watch but they're they're all all the villains are really cool and uh, uh, I like this movie. I think it, it's pretty good. It's it's a lot better than than a lot of people would say it is. I know most people th take it as a joke and stuff, but it, it is a weird movie. But it, it's fun to watch. Um, it just isn't something that I'm gonna want to rewatch all the time. 
and everything. So I'd say I'd give it a, a seven out of ten. It's enjoyable. It's it's watchable. There are way worse movies out there. There's a lot better ones out there too, to be honest. But it's still still pretty good for what it is. And uh, it felt like the TV show. Uh, that's one thing that was kind of cool, which you don't really get when you get a movie based on a show. You don't have that that feeling like it it's it feels like part of the show a lot of the time um but this one actually really does for the most part from what i remember and everything I, like i said i've only watched a little bit of the the show because too much goes a long way and this movie could have been they could have cut out at least maybe 20 minutes of it and it would have been a lot better but for what it is it, it's fine it, it's a fun campy time and if you're into to the the campy style and stuff it's definitely worth watching and if you're a fan of the show and you've never seen the movie it's definitely worth checking out um or just a fan of the batman character and you want to see like the different eras of him this is definitely worth checking out for that too um and i think like i said all of the cast were great the the action and stuff was pretty fun even though it's really cheesy and stuff but uh all in all i think batman the movie is is decent so anyway let me know in the comments what you think of this movie and i hope you enjoy this video and have a good day everybody